enjoying a good cup of coffee. My good buddy sent this to me, and I'm going to show you guys that I have no more warts. Stick around because this thing has taken me some time to get rid of it. Bottoms up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today I have another video coming to you and before I even get really into this video um, I've had some questions and some people uh, have actually commented not very many um, on this particular thing I'm going to tell you <clears throat> but on my last work video actually the very first one I did uh, some people said that I was holding the wrong hand up showing you that the work was gone blah 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 now let me assure you guys I'm going to show you right here there's no trick photography these are my hands I have a ring on my finger a watch and just regular hand this is the hand that um, definitely has the wart or had the wart on it now I'm going to show you it was on my little ring finger remember I'm going to um, show you that's still gone as you see right here let me you can see the dot I'm sure because I can see the dot in the camera it's right there that's where it was. It's completely flat. I mean, there's nothing there. It's gone completely. Now, what I have, I have another wart uh, that come up on my finger. And it's really weird because this has always been there. And I've been noticing it more and more. And I guess over the last two weeks, um, I felt like it was, I don't know, just bothering me more and more. And <laughs> now, it's, as you see right here, let me show you. So I'm a middle finger. Now look, keep in mind, this is the watch. This is my ring, so you don't people don't say, oh, that's not that's not the real deal. Let me see if I can get. Alright, do you see that little black thing in the middle of it? Alright, so that's basically how this other wart started. Now, this thing is getting bigger by the day, and I am not happy with it because I when I close my fingers, it doesn't really hurt, but I know it's there. And it's one of those things, like I'm sure people had this. You, you always touch it because you know it's there or you know you pick and add your scabs or whatever time to that but you know I was I'm always it seems like fiddling with it and the more I touch it seems the worse it gets and the more tender it gets so now we had a question on my page with the uh, vinegar will white vinegar work and or can you ha or do you have to use the apple cider vinegar now just today on the messages there was a comment that said that this woman it's a long comment you can't miss it um if you're interested, it's right here. I'm going to read you just what I, what the basic thing I want to tell you. You can read the whole thing. It's, it's a very long um, comment, but it's very good. Basically, she used um, just distilled white vinegar, and it worked for her perfect. So we had a question before, um, you know, would it work or would it not work? I don't know because, first of all, I don't use that. I mean, I use it for, like, my clothes and stuff, for my softening my clothes, but or cleaning my dishwasher, but... I didn't know if it would work or not, so I couldn't actually say yes or no. This woman right here, her mom is a doctor or a nurse, and she said you know, that it worked for her perfect. Thank goodness we finally have somebody say that it worked. But in the meantime, so you can, I can go back to my drug dealing doctor and he could just you know, freeze it off. And I've been through that route before. I'm not a big fan of the pain, nor am I a big fan of going to the doctor. Um, so anyway, I'm going to treat this here at home. Now, I know once I go to bed, it is going to probably burn like it did last time. I'm going to keep my hand above my heart. But you know what? Just for those few days that it does that, it's worth it to me to get rid of it because it seems like when they burn it, of course, we already been through this, uh, it lasts and it hurts for so much longer. And I, I just, I'm not a big fan of pain. I can handle a little throbbing pain and be done with it. So, without further ado, you see the wart right there. I mean, it sticks pretty decent. Let's go in and go ahead and start treating this unit. Uh, once again, I'm going to show you how it works, and there's going to be another video. I am getting rid of that skin tag right there. Now, as you see, it it doesn't bother me nearly as much as it bothers my wife, I think, because uh, she's like, I hate looking at that thing, you know, and it does look pretty nasty. Uh, I'm not self-conscious of it because if you don't like the way I look, don't look at me. That's what that's my motto. Anyway, let's go ahead and treat this one first. That video will be coming right after this one. I'm going to do one at a time so I don't have to worry about all the pain, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, because this one's going to be a little bit more challenging because of where it is. It's just a skin tag, but I still need to be careful. I don't want, I don't want to get an apple cider vinegar in my eye. Let's jump here in the bathroom real quick and start treating this thing. All right, we're back in the old faithful bathroom here, so you're going to hear an echo and all that jazz. And my dogs are out there. They were barking a few minutes ago. I kind of waited for them to shut up. So today is Wednesday, September the 4th. So we, what we want to do is we're going to see how long this takes. Uh, 
I will come back every so often like I did last video to show you my progress, to give you updates. Like I said, this is the first day of this. Um, it's not as big as the last one was and it's not as painful, but I don't want it. So today starts it uh, and uh, you'll see my progress. Hopefully we'll have some very good feedback on this one and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so just as usual, I'm just using some old cheap Kroger Band-Aids because, you know, I'm going through them and I do recommend one thing. I recommend fabric band-aids. Um, I don't care what you get. It's up to you if you want to pay. I paid pretty cheap for these because they're Kroger brand. But you know what they do? They did what I need them to do. So anyway, we'll get them out. And I still have my little cotton from last time in there. Uh, I don't care if it's sterile or not for me because this is, it is what it is. And if you remember, I mentioned this bottle of apple cider vinegar, which is very expired and uh, it still does what it needs to i'm not drinking it and frankly if it's old it, it doesn't matter to me so that if you have some old you're like man i need to get rid of it well this is perfect if you have warts or whatever so even though i don't have to shake it i do i don't know why it's kind of weird all right we're just gonna put a little in the cap here I'll go ahead and get my band-aid ready now last time if you remember i was taping my finger all to pieces and some a lot of people ask me why was i doing that just because I'm very active and I don't want it to slide off because, you know, once you get a little bit of vinegar on here, well, you know, it makes that band-aid, you know, kind of wet and it doesn't want to stick. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and you should see it right here, right? All right, I'm going to take a little tape here also and uh, put it on here. Like I said, this is not mandatory. I'm just very active, like I said, and I just don't want it to come off. Because I want this thing gone, so I'm just going to put a little tape on here and keep it just like so. So there we go. Okay, that's it. Alright, so it is September the 9th and I um, decided to come out here and do a little hiking. Now, I've pretty much been very adamant about sticking a bandit on my wart uh, as much as possible. Look at Mr. Mr. Bailey here. And... Uh, I've taken the bandit off yesterday. I took it off for about probably about an hour and a half just to let it air out. And uh, the skin was a little whitish colored. Uh, I'm going to take it off right now. I'm going to let it probably go for probably another at least two hours. Get some fresh air and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. So I do want you guys to see that the bandit is on. Still my same hand. And there's both of them. And there's the other wart. I've, and the only reason I keep saying here's my hands blah 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 is because a lot of people say that's not the same hand. That's the wart's gone. So as of yesterday the wart looked a little different. Um, it still is not where I want it to be. Gone. So let's take it off a look. All on camera. Well it is a little smaller I can see already. We won't leave this bandit in the woods. But look at that guys. Look at that wart. Uh, it's a lot softer and <laughs> it's not gone but it's getting there now one thing I will tell you unlike the other one when I uh, put all the uh, apple cider vinegar and stuff on uh, like at nighttime or whatever the pain would throb all night long and this has not even hurt at all now I don't know if it's because of the simple fact that maybe um, just maybe it's not as bad of a ward as the other one was. I don't know, but I, I know for a fact, this for a fact, is it was uh, starting to be a little painful. So, so far I can say there's no pain and everything is uh, really just taking a turn for the good. <laughs> so, all right, we'll check back in a couple days. Uh, I want to get up here and finish this hiking and uh, yeah, say bye to Mr. Bailey. Hey Bailey, come here. All right, guys, so I'm back from work, and um, it is 618, and it is the 14th, and you see I have a Band-Aid on. Still the same hand, still got my ring on. No trick photography here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Uh, I put, right before I went to work last night, which is eight hours ago, uh, I put a new Band-Aid and, and some apple cider vinegar on it. Let's cut it away and see what we got. All right, here we go. Now, I will tell you that there's absolutely no pain at all, um, like there was with the first one. I've already said it before, I'm just letting you know. And I have not seen any change up until today, so let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to see what I see. First hand. See what I did there? First hand. All right, here we go.
So, struggling a little bit here. Didn't cut the band out of the way through. Okay, here we have it. So, it doesn't look a whole lot different. It's still, it's actually smaller, but unlike the first time I did it, where it just came off, uh, it's just taking a little bit longer, but I feel when I push on it now, I, can, I can't feel any, like before when I could push on, I could feel kind of a little bit of pain. Now it's pretty much, to me, dead. It's little, it's not tender or anything, so. So we'll put another piece of cotton on there and a uh, band-aid and uh, go to bed and uh, wake up and do it again. So uh, little by little, it's it's shrinking. I mean, it has shrunk uh, quite a bit from what it was when it first started out, so it's not too bad. So uh, we'll check back in with you. Like I said, today's the 14th at 6 a.m. in the morning. So um, hopefully next couple days it'll be pretty much gone. We'll see. All right, so it is the 18th now. And I thought I was recording a few minutes ago, and I actually, uh, for some reason, I had my tripod set up and everything. I was going to show you um, the finger where it's... Oh, there's that clock. And anyway, I'm getting ready to go to bed. And the... Um, or it looks a lot different, actually, like completely. So let's let this clock finish first. All right, 11 o'clock. Anyway, so yeah, um, when I took the bandit off, I noticed that um, a lot of my skin has uh, kind of peeled away, like, the, you know, because that's what acid does. And anyway, so the wart looks a lot different now. And like I said, you know, it's the 18th. Let's check it out real quick. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and it's been off. The band has been off for, I don't know, 10 minutes. But I'm going to let it stay off probably for another about 20, 30 minutes. And then I'm going to hit it hard again. But let me show you in the meantime what I got. So I'm not really sure if you can actually see or not, but that is what I'm working with now. So you can see the skin is kind of raised up a little bit. Since I decided to take my tripod back out, put it away, because uh, I thought I, I was done with this little part of this video. Yeah, but so I can actually peel the top off and it looks like this the wart is just about gone, but we're gonna hit it for another couple of days anyway. And uh, I'll check back with you and uh, show you. But so far, I think it's a good deal. Going away and that's what I'm aiming for. I do feel like I owe you an ex explanation. You see what happened to my finger here? See all the skin gone? Now I do know that uh, I had many comments to tell me <laughs> how to put the apple cider vinegar on here. And you see what happened here? Well, let me tell you what happened. I was getting ready to go to work in a rush, of course. And I put a big cotton ball on there and it was saturated. I didn't have time to put a little ball on there. And this is what happened. So it's sore, but it's not. I mean, I can touch it, obviously. I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to let it sit for a couple days. But the wart is, I mean, it's coming off as you see but it is it is the 20th and as you can see like I mentioned it just it just has to heal just a little bit and then I'll start back again so we'll see how long how many days I let it go and then uh, yeah we'll start again all right so as you see now uh, you saw the pictures before of my skin being screwed up. It's the 27th today. I've been back on the regimen, I guess you could say, for... I think my band-aid was off completely, letting my skin heal back for three days. Actually, really two. Um, you know, uh, this is a very stubborn wart. <laughs> and, well, quite frankly, uh, I haven't taken the band-aid off in two days. I've been working a whole lot. You see, I'm really dirty. I was under my house doing a few things. Uh, so. As you see, the Band-Aid is on. Um, it's been shredded pretty good because I have been really busy. So I haven't even seen what it looks like in two days. Like I said, I've worked a whole bunch of overtime. Haven't had an opportunity to look at it. So this will be the first in two days. And you guys will see what I see. As you see, the Band-Aid has not been off. It's pretty ragged. So so we'll see what it looks like. All right, so let's take it off. I've never thought about putting the camera up above on my mirror and looking down. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. So let's look and see. Skin has come back pretty quick as far as the, um, finally it's turning black. Wow. Look at that. Finally. After how long? <laughs> but, yeah. It was actually, it started turning black a, a while back and then, I don't know, just quit doing it. <laughs> really weird. But I did see somebody said the castor oil on it was a very good idea. And I may just try that next time on another wart. But, yeah, there is no pain. I mean, it's, 
you guys can see. So, um, take a quick shower. You see, like I said, I'm really dirty. And uh, I'll be putting my bandaid back on. And we'll check back with you soon. I've had this question again recently. You know, uh, yes, I put it on at night. I change the bandage every night. I don't leave it off for no longer than a shower. Uh, you can leave it off. Many people have told me that they leave it off. They put a little dab on it for like an hour and take it off. That's fine. I'm not doing that. I'm leaving it on. Uh, not only for... Um, because the cotton swab or the cotton ball is saturated and when I wash my hands obviously it gets wet and pushes more of the acid back into my skin so that's my that's what I'm doing so we'll check back in with you who knows how many days and uh, we'll see what happens hopefully by then it'll be gone we'll see hi right, guys good morning so first of all I want to apologize for me not having my microphone on top it's very early it's October the 1st Tuesday morning and I took my bandit off after the shower actually I took it off in the shower, threw it away, and I want to show you now what my finger looks like. One thing I did do different was, um, I gotta try and be quiet, my wife's still sleeping, but uh, one thing that I did different, um, I took a pair of fingernail clippers two days ago and I cut the very tip of it off, because you know, it doesn't really hurt, so I just clipped it off, but it was getting black anyway, and now look at it right now. So that is it right now. It's actually, if I had to put a percentage on it, I would say it's 25% smaller than normal. Alright, I gotta get to work. Um, like I said, um, you know, this has been one um, war that has been really unbelievable. And I actually have some news about a dermatologist I talked to. Um, when I get a microphone and the quality's a little better, I will make sure I put that in this video. And uh, in the meantime, not flipping you off, but I'm going to take my finger, wrap it back up, and head to work. Have a great day, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next update. All right, it is the 10th of October, and guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this has been a wart, as you know, been following this little journey. Um, it's been very hard for me to get rid of this thing. Uh, I, huh, I change it religiously. This wart, to me, is like the toughest of all warts I've ever had. Now, it doesn't even hurt at all anymore. But it's still there. When I push on, I can kind of feel it. I know before I've said in the previous video, when I push on, I can't really feel it. But I mean, I can. I mean, it's on your finger, so. But let me just show you guys. It's getting black, and uh, I'm still hitting it as hard as I can. And um, yeah, we'll just, I'll, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what I have been doing since, uh, well, for a while now. I put a bandit on, and then I put paper tape over. I put it on the side, one middle, one on the outside. We're at an outage right now, and... Uh, it's a lot of work being done and I do not want this falling off and you see this has been uh, right at about 24 hours since I put it on so it does pretty good let me cut it off and show you you get to see what I see all right so this is 24 hours later see it's it's, it's still black as you see but it's just still it's still raised up as you can probably tell in here and uh yeah so i think what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna take a little razor knife i'm gonna cut the top of it off and uh, somebody suggested using tea tree oil along with the apple cider vinegar i believe i'm gonna try that this time and uh because this is about as far as it gets and it has been a while since i started this i mean what about a month now and still well you see what's going on here so we're gonna try to cut it off Use tea tree oil, apple cider vinegar, and put a bandit on it and see what happens. All right, so we are back. It is the 15th of October, and I will say this. Yesterday before I went to work, uh, I was looking at my wart, and I figured out that it's gone. Now, one tip that I have to give for sure is this. There was a comment very recently, uh, and I believe it was something on the lines of, I'd have to look to make sure exactly word for word, but basically... Uh, somebody told me that the only way really to that they had very good luck getting rid of the wart was to take the skin that was like dead and remove it whether it be a knife scissors file or whatever so what I did um, I took a pair of my little scissors on my Leatherman and I actually cut literally it off because it was dead anyway it didn't hurt there was no pain whatsoever and then I took a file and I filed I know it sounds weird but I filed it down so it's semi-flat. Now, obviously, it still had a raised bump on it and everything. And uh, anyway, I, there was no pain. 
and yesterday that was like three or four days ago whenever I got that um, comment is when I decided to do that uh, I did not use the tea tree oil like I said I was going to because of the simple fact that um, my tea tree oil was very cheap uh, from what I've read um, there's you know the synthetic one the, the chemical one and then there's the one that's real and you know if you get the real one obviously it's a lot more money I pay like 296 or something like at a Walmart for it. it's real cheap so I didn't use it so I can't say you know that if it works or not because I don't know because I didn't use it but I still have my bandit on as you see there's both of my hands because some people say well you're not doing the right hand blah 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 well this, this is it I'm going to cut it off right here on camera and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, like I said yesterday it was completely flat and there's no pain I don't even feel it anymore so that's a positive and I am just I can't wait to show you guys. So here is my Leatherman. These are the scissors that I used to cut uh, my top of my ward off. Now, so I did uh, sterilize them before I did it, and probably didn't have to, but anyway, I did. And you see, it's pretty dirty because this is literally, um, see, about nine hours. It's been on there, so and I wear gloves at work, so you guys get to see exactly what I see firsthand. But I already know that is pretty much gone anyway. So, see if I can keep it in frame the whole time. All right, here we go. Voila. Gone. Look at that, guys. It is literally flat as flat can be. No more wart. There's the old wart, just so there's, you know, some people can't say, oh, it's, you know, it's fake hand or whatever. That's the old wart. You can still kind of see a little bit. And that's the one I treated completely gone. Now, I do want to say this. I believe if I was to be more proactive and cut the dead skin off instead of leave it on there like I had been doing, I believe this thing probably wouldn't have taken as long as it did because it took a long time. As you can see, I mean, it's been many days since I've had treated this thing. I think it probably would have probably been, you know, 15 days less, probably. That's just a guess. But, man, I'm telling you what, that apple cider vinegar is the... Mm. That bottle was way expired. Uh, I plan on throwing that bottle away and the next one I treat, which will be this one right here. This is just a skin tag, you see. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to treat that with the apple cider vinegar, uh, but I'm going to have to do that very... Uh, <laughs> I got to be careful because you don't want that vinegar in your eye at all. And that's very close to where my eye is, obviously, so hopefully it'll work. Um, I am going to document it so you, you guys can see and hopefully it'll you know, be perfect. Um, but I do recommend, uh, if you can stomach it, to cut, once the skin starts dying, to cut it off. Because I think it would be a lot quicker than we know what it was. So, Alright guys, there you have it. Proof positive uh, that it does work. Um, you know, this is not made up stuff. This is real life stuff. And, you know, uh, it was that. There's, I mean, it's, it's gone. I hope you guys can see what I can see. Let me just make sure I can get it in shot it's getting my face but it's like literally gone the only thing is there is just a little spot <laughs> but it's gone i mean there's i don't even remotely feel anything like i can push on it there's nothing all right guys if you like what you see here like and subscribe uh, watch for the new video on this uh skin tag here because as you see guys i'm gonna show you one more time it's a pretty good size one i mean it doesn't really bother me as much as it bothers my wife so but anyway having said that I'm going to close this video out, guys. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.